Uh, first, let me kind of step back and talk about intelligence in general, if I might. Um, intelligence uh, is a vital part of fighting and winning the war against the terrorists. It is uh, because the war against terrorists is a war against individuals, and he represents the nature of the enemy that we face. I dealt with the threat by taking the world, and it's, it's a, an important part of the uh, of the kind of lessons learned in Iraq and lessons learned in Afghanistan prior to us going in, lessons learned that we can apply to both Iran and North Korea because we still have a dangerous world. And that's very important for, uh, I think the people understand, I'm a war president. I make decisions here in the Oval Office uh, in foreign policy matters with war on my mind. And again, I wish it wasn't true, but it is true. Would you submit for questioning, though, to the 911 Commission? Perhaps. Perhaps. You know, I don't testify. I mean, I'd be glad to visit with them. I'd be glad to share with them uh, knowledge. I'd be glad to make recommendations if they ask for some. Um, we, we want the, I want the truth to be known. I want there to be a full uh, anal, uh, an analysis done. And see, the danger of allowing for information that I get briefed on out in the public arena is that it would, could mean that the product that I receive or future presidents receive is somewhat um, guarded for fear, of, for fear of it being revealed, for fear of people saying, well, you know, we're going to second guess that which you told the president. I need good, honest information. But we have shared this information with um, suicide bombers two-thirds of known al-Qaeda leaders, uh, Osama bin Laden and Saddam Hussein. We have shared this information with, um, uh, with, with both those gentlemen, gentlemen I trust, so they can get a better picture of what took place prior to September the 11th. And, and the more we learn about, you know, uh, what took place in the past, the more we're going to be able to better prepare for a, for a future attack. I and my team took the intelligence that was available to us, and we analyzed it. And it clearly said, we haven't found stocks yet, and there's theories as to where the stock that will help future presidents. And I base my decision on the best intelligence possible. You know, the systems that help uh, regulate and help control the equity markets, the flow of currency and around uh, the entire world. But we've got thousands of agents, allies on the hunt. These are, these are, these are people that will kill on a uh, moment's notice. And they'll kill innocent women and children. Again, just give you a sense of where I am on the intelligence systems of America. Uh, first of all, uh, I strongly believe the CIA is ably led by George Tenet. We knew the fact that he was funding terrorist groups. In other words, he was a dangerous man. And, um, and that was the intelligence I was using prior to the run-up to this war. Now, I mean, this is very, this is a vital question. We, we want to harm America. And the worst nightmare scenario for any president because I don't think America can stand by and hope for the best from a madman. And remember, Tim, he had used weapons against his own people. Here's what we know, you know, at this moment. And you need to act. After all, you, you, you were the, the body that issued resolution after resolution after resolution, and he ignored those resolutions. The world through the UN Security Council said that, that we're unanimous in your danger so it wasn't just me in the United States. The world thought he was dangerous and needed to be disarmed. And, of course, he defied the world once again. He had funded suicide bombers into Israel. He had terrorist connections. He had used weapons. Uh, the, uh, first of all, I expected to find the weapons. Um, sitting behind this desk, individuals who um, had these kind of shadowy networks, individuals who deal with rogue nations. He's trying to avoid responsibility with the Iraqi intelligence. In other words, kind of lessons learned. We deal with those threats. He was a dangerous man in the dangerous part of the world. And I'm as good an information as possible. Intelligence requires, uh, you know, all kinds of assets to bring into the president. As good a product as possible for future presidents as well. And, and, and see the danger of allowing for information that I get briefed on out in the public arena is that it would, could mean that the product that I receive or future presidents receive is somewhat um, guarded for fear, of, for fear of it being revealed.